What's going on everybody? I'm Thomas and welcome to Virginia Outdoors Unlimited. Today is May the 1st. I am back out here at the Millet Pond to do a couple things. First off, I want to check the trail cameras at the Wood Duck Boxes. It's actually been three weeks since the last time I've been down here. So I want to see if there's been any activity around them. Also, the last time I came out here three weeks ago, there was a pair of geese nested out here. So I want to check and see if they're still here and see how they're doing if they are. Uh, and then the last couple things I'm going to do is going to pull the brush off my blind today. That's a little bit long over do and then also I'm just going to kind of go around the pond and look at some of the moist soil vegetation that's come up there's been quite a bit coming up over basically the month of April so just want to take a look and see where it's coming up how it's looking uh, to kind of get an idea of what the management plan is going to be for the pond for this coming season so that's the plan I'm going to try and keep this video pretty short but uh, hopefully I got some cool stuff to show y'all so stay tuned all right so here is the first wood duck box and trail camera setup. This is the one kind of in the back right leg of the pond. And uh, there's the trail camera on the tree there. I did go ahead and get predator guards on both the boxes. I went with a stovepipe predator guard. And uh, hopefully it's been doing the trick. I actually just saw a wood duck drake fly from kind of the back of this cove here. So hopefully maybe there's a head in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull this trail camera and see what we got. One. Of course, I forgot my waders today, so getting a little bit wet. Oh. All right, just pulled the card and got the footage downloaded on the computer, and pretty good amount of bird activity. There's been a lot of geese hanging out back here. I'm not sure if it's just that same pair. Well, actually, I saw four at one point, so there's definitely been um, some goose activity around here, seeing quite a few wood ducks as well, but I just cannot tell if there's been any nesting in there or not. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my phone on video mode and stick it in the hole real quick just to see whether or not there's a hen in there just because I'm, I'm so curious. I mean, I know you're really not supposed to disturb these next nest boxes and uh, this will probably be the only time I do this, but just wanna see uh, if there is a hen or a nest in there. So gonna do that and then we'll move on to uh, the next box. Dang, nothing. Here is box number two. The goose nest that was here was actually right here on this point, but the last time I came out here, the geese were being super territorial and honking and trying to chase me away and everything, and I haven't heard or seen any sign of them today. So not super encouraging, but I'll definitely go and check that out. I'm about to pull the trail camera card. Uh, the one thing I did want to show you all right here before I did that is all the decomposing vegetation here. Got a bunch of nut sedge decomposing right here, and we got a bunch of millet and stuff decomposing out there, and there's just all sorts of invertebrates in here bunch of water bugs and stuff on top so I don't know hopefully the wood ducks have been getting or the wood duck hens have been getting some use out of these invertebrates and uh, maybe something to be in this box moment of truth for the goose nest here not looking too good there was no goose on it I see an egg right there there's broken egg yeah I think they probably failed yet again they actually nested here last year as well and did not were not successful and I don't know what happened here there's an egg, full egg right there with bugs on it and then an egg shell looks like something got into the nest so i guess maybe put up a goose platform here next year for them this is just a long point that comes out here so i figured you know there might be a raccoon or something that made his way down this point eventually and got on that nest i was hoping they might be able to defend it with it you know being a point right here but unfortunately it doesn't look like it just pulled the card here on box number two and checked the box as well nothing in it so I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit disappointed, you know, no nest in either box and the goose nest failing, but I did put up the wood duck boxes late and at least I'm seeing some birds out here. So I'll take that as a positive encouragement that at least some birds seem to begin some use out of the habitat here. One thing or a couple things I want to show you all before I wrap this one up is number one, this island right here, which I would think would be the prime goose nesting spot on this pond. It's pretty well protected right here. It's a just a little island tucked away from the shoreline. So I don't know what I can do to make this more enticing for the geese. I really feel like this is where they should be nesting, but for whatever reason they want to nest out there on that point. And then the other thing I want to show you all is just all the smart weed back in here. Got a good bit of smart weed. We had a lot of smart weed back in here last year as well. So glad to see it coming up all along in here. And uh, it's really coming up everywhere back here. Got it coming up all along the shoreline that the blind is is on as well 
I am gonna go ahead and include a quick aerial here before we wrap this one up. And also I'm gonna put some trail camera, some of those trail camera videos at the end of the video with some music over them. For those um, who are interested, I'll just include, you know, two or three minutes of the coolest clips. Um, but that's pretty much all I got. If you guys have any questions about anything I said, anything out here at the Millet Pond, leave in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. And if you guys enjoy these types of waterfowl content, waterfowl habitat management, um, and you wanna see more of this type of off season content, I'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of those videos because I'll have quite a few more coming out here before too long as we get started with the uh, planting and everything on this pond here uh, as the summer goes on. But hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>